Good evening, sports fans. I'm Shadarius Cannon. I'm Rakia Champion. On this edition of Hawk TV Sports, we'll be bringing you the Southside Hawks versus the Northside Indians. The Indians are currently 2-1. How you, you feeling tonight, nice Bakia? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just hoping for a big win. Are you looking for any big returns tonight? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a very big return tonight from Hayden Phillips. Back to receive for Northside Cha-Cha Rivers. Back to receive, we have Cha-Cha Rivers. And there's kickoff. Fumbles the ball. And he evades a couple of tackles, uh, eventually being fumble, taken fumble, down. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Oh, it's a fumble. Fumble. And it was recovered by the Northside Indians. The Northside Indians run a, like a little read option. They have a lot of fast receivers, so. I'm hoping that our I'm hoping that our cornerbacks could stop them. I'm looking for a very decent defense tonight from the Hawks. Our defensive starters are Josh James, Brandon Turner, Dylan Toll, Mason Taylor, Jack Brown, Andrew Hill, Hayden Phillips, and Kay Willingham, Michael Trenzo, and Aaron Warner. So there's a run by Marcus Maxwell and tackle by number, number 44, Jack Marcus Brown. Maxwell. Jack Brown on the tackle. Jack had a pretty big game last week. Jack Brown has 13 tackles this year five, and nine assists, so you could say he's a catalyst on defense. You know who our starting quarterback is for Northside, Brickhead? Oh, it's Martavis Love. And he is a junior? He, no, he's a, he's a senior. We have a run by number 18, and he's tackled by number 24, Andrew Hill. Number 16 on the carry. Oh, starting uh, for Northside on, um, on the offense is Colin Curry, Tevin Downs, Jarvis Bryant, Tanika Brown, Rondarius McKinney, and the big player of the team, Marcus Maxwell. We're looking for a big game from Mason Taylor. He leads the team with 19 tackles, with 16 tackles, my Holding apologies, and two assists. Against Northside. We have a penalty. I'm not sure what it is right now at the moment. Holding. Holding the flight, second down. We have holding on Northside. Second so down. Second down, so you can say that uh, Southside defense is doing its job tonight. They're doing a fairly good job tonight. We're keeping I like them it. getting big runs, so, you know. There's a pass. Oh, it's a drop pass I by like number it. two, Christavius Rivers. Rivers. Broken up by Todd Wadley. I like that the block from Ty Wadley. Yes, that play was broken up by Ty Wadley. He's a senior, returning. Southside defense really does his job. They really are doing a good job. It's third down. Option I like the Given to Marcus, and he's dropped by number 24, Don't Andrew Hill. Marcus Maxwell tackled on the play. The number two, Todd Wadley. Hmm. Fourth down. I think Todd is fairly getting big tackles tonight. Yes, and we have fourth down. And it looks to see that Northside is going to go for it. Timeout on the field. Time I, for measurement. I think they're bringing out the change. They're going to measure it. 
I think Southside is doing a good job tonight. Looks like to me he has the first down, but we're going to get the official, official ruling. We have Caden Edwards starting, coming in the game. Number 15, a senior. Fourth down, back to receive for the Hawks. And it's number fourth 15, down, so they Adrian was fourth Edwards, and short, and, and six, they're going to kick off. Michael Transo. Well, they're going to punt. Our receiver is Michael Transo. Side, Matthew, follow the ball. Number 58. Davian. Back to receive. We got Michael Trenzel and Cajun Edwards. Neil Lassett, wait. Short kick. There's a short kick. Short kick. And Let's with the pick up, up, Brandon Greer. Let's pick up by number 79, Martavius Anderson. Ball is punted out of bounds. Spotted. The 46. First and 10, Southside. The ball is spotted at the 46-yard line. Who do we have starting on offense tonight, Brakia, for the Southside Hawks? For the offense, we have Mark Ballard, Jaquari Storp, Kadrian Edwards, Andrew Hill, Quentin Dotson, Colin Diggs, Jacob Barber, Mason Taylor with a lot of tackles, Denver McCaskill, Josh James, and Torres Costa. read option, and the quarterback keeps it, and he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Down. He's gone. Go down. He was tackled out of bounds by number nine, Coley <laughs> Curry. That's a big run by Southside. <laughs> quarterback. They're Kedron just some Edwards. of the things that you can expect from us. As you can see here, as a read option, quarterback side to keep in, which was a smart idea, and he picked up big yardage before being tackled by number nine, Coley Curry. I really like the effort from Southside tonight. That's some of the things you will see from Southside as we have our fast receivers and we have a pretty fast quarterback. We have a flag. Penalty markers on the play. Dead ball. False start. Against the offense. False start on offense number south side. Five yard penalty. So Traderis, how do you think South Side is doing so far? I think they're doing good so far. I think the defense did a good job on getting three and out. So I think we're doing pretty good so far. The offense is doing good. They just got one penalty, so I think if we could limit the turnovers, I think we'll do a good job tonight. Do you think we'll get the win? I'm pretty sure we can get the win, and we, we're starting off good. Effort is a key thing to this game tonight. Yeah, effort and to have fun. I need to go out here and have fun. We have back in the backfield, we have Andrew Hill. And Andrew Hill. He's carried the ball for a gain of three. Ball carries number 24, Andrew Hill. Gain of three on the play, second down. We have second down approaching. Bikir, you like what you're seeing so far? Oh, yes, I love it. I love the effort and the effort they're giving defense and offensive-wise. In the back, we have Andrew Hill. Read option, the quarterback decides to keep before it being tackled by okay, number nine, Cajun Coley Curry. Okay. I think Cajun is doing a fairly good job tonight. I think Third we're doing down. good, but I think it's time we need to start throwing the ball. We got to see what our receivers can do. I agree. I think we got north side defense. We're right there in the goal line. Flag on a play. We have a penalty. Sideline warning. Against they have a sideline warning against Northside. We have back in the backfield, we have Andrew Hill. 
Caden Edwards is doing a pretty good job returning from the concussion injury. He's doing a good job. I think so, too. I like the, the effort tonight. Oh, quarterback keep, and we and have a touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown by Caden Edwards. Touchdown by Caden Edwards. That was a good job by Caden Edwards. That was a great job by Caden Edwards. And we have a kicker, Curtis Fletcher, coming out to kick. What do you think about that play, Brakia? Oh, I like the I like the speed and the effort to get to the touchdown line. I really like the speed he showed, and that was a great that was just great thinking about keeping the ball. I think he has a great quarterback mentality. Oh, we have a trick play, but it did not work. He was tackled by number 42. Two-point conversion is no good. Denville Mitchell, two-point conversion was no good, no good. In that situation, I think, with it being this early, you just should have kicked. We have an instant replay of that quarter. touchdown by so Caden so Edwards. You guys, you can see the North speed he has zero. and the great – See all the speed he has in that great, and just great thinking to keep the ball. See, yeah, you see, he got a great block. I think that was a great, smart decision by Caden Edwards. Well, enough about the players for right now. How do you think Coach Driggers are doing with the players this year? I think Coach Driggers is doing good. We started off a little rocky, but I really think he's picking up the speed and running his offense the way it needs to be run. I really think he's doing a good job around the school, the field, and with the boys. Yes, I think he's doing a great job. How do you think the assistant coaches, offenses, and defenses are I, doing? I think Coach Taylor is doing a good job, Coach Moore. I think they're all doing a good job. And we can't leave out the big man, the old man, the good man, Coach Kane. Coach Kane. If you ever hurt, that's who you want to go see, Coach Kane. He's the guy to see when you're hurt. In the back to receive, we have number one, Marcus Maxwell. And the kick is off, and it was a low squib kick. Oh, oh fumbled by number two. And he, he was dropped. And he was dropped. dropped. He was dropped by number 25, Cameron Bankhead. I really yeah. like the effort tonight. And from we're gonna cut boys. to we're gonna cut to an interview with Hawk TV reporter Thomas Skyler Thomas. The twenty one yard line, first and ten Northside. Carly Tyler. Carly, what year did you graduate? Two thousand and thirteen. And how long did you cheer at Southside? For four years. How do you think the cheerleaders are doing tonight? They look really good. Are you proud of them? I am. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. Thank you, Skyler. Oh, we have a drop pass by number pass four. Incomplete, incomplete pass. Four. It was thrown Josh. to. And I think we have an injury four. on the sideline by Jack six. Brown. Oh, Michael Jack Brown two. may be hurting. Second He's down. a big catalyst for the defense. As I told y'all, he has 13 tackles and nine assists. So, as you can see, we really hope to see him back out there. That pass was intended for number four, Joshua Avihart. That tackle was by Michael Tranzu. Well, a drop ball. We have an inside handoff to number one, Marcus Maxwell, before being dropped by number two, Ty Wally. Ty Wally and number 34, Malcolm okay, Gilchrist. One, Marcus Maxwell, game of two, third this down. is a fairly, fairly good defensive team tonight. And we have third down. Southside fans, get on your feet. Yeah, Southside really has the Southside fans hyped and pumped up. They're really hyped. The boys are really hyped on the sideline, too. As you can see, the Southside is really giving the fans something to cheer about tonight. In the backfield, we have number one. Oh, the quarterback side, the keeper, he was stopped. Stopped. He was stopped by number 63. Number three, Mason Taylor. Oh, stopped by number three, Mason Taylor. My apologies. Number three. Aaron Warren on the play, fourth down. We have fourth and down. Hayden, I see Hayden's real hot tonight on the field. <laughs> I believe Northside is going, they're kicking it off. Northside is kicking it, and in the back of the see we have number six, Michael Tranzo, and number 15, Caden Edwards. Both of them are seniors.
That was a high punt. And caught by K a fair catch by Kaden number 15, Caden Edwards. Caden Edwards, first and 10, south side. First and 10, south side at the fifth. Hey, Brakia, you want to talk about, our, talk about our keys to the game? My keys to the game are for us to limit mistakes. I feel like if we can limit mistakes, which we have done, we could win this game. And cause turnovers. Our, if we can cause turnovers, get we get in the backfield, get a couple sacks, get a couple fourth downs and turnover on downs, I think we can win this game. And simply to have fun. I think Southside players need to have fun. They need to worry about getting the win, but also need to have fun. My biggest key is stopping Northside offense. Yes. If you can stop the offense, then it's our game. It's anybody's game. Ball carry is number 24, Andrew Hill. We have a, we have a carry by Andrew Hill, number 24. He gained, he gained Second three. Second down. I see Michael Transus on the sign line, very, very hype. Andrew Hill in the game against Fairware rushed for 144 yards. He averaged four yards per carry. So you can see, see that he's really going to be getting up. And we have a fumble and recovered by Northside number 29. Number 29, Dontario McIntosh. Dontario McIntosh. And he's a senior, so. As I said, key to the game was to limit turnovers, and we just got one turnover. So, I mean, we need to limit it and make smart decisions with the football. The I don't think right that was now, a smart decision. The biggest thing right now is for them not to let Northside get a touchdown. Yes, we need. We do not need to get to the goal line. We don't need them to pick up any energy at all. And we have a call pass by number two, Coach pass Chris. Is number two. Quartavius Rivers. Quartavius Rivers. Tackle by number six. Michael Trenzo. Michael Trenzo. Oh. Gain of 11. He gained 11 yards, so. First and 10. So it's a first side. and 10. I really do feel like we're doing a good job, but as I said, we need to get in the backfield and, call and get some sacks. I feel like that that turn there was a well undeserved turnover. I think the momentum has shifted to Northside, and we have a tackle by number and 24, 18, Andrew Bryant Hill, carry, and it was a carry by, by Jarvis Bryant. Andrew Hill. Andrew was having kind of a big plane. game tonight. Down. Yes, Andrew was having a big game rushing and tackling. And we have instant replay of Jarvis Bryant's run. As you can see, Andrew Hill comes and gets him and with a nice tackle and an assist by number three, Aaron Warren. And back throwing, Montavious Love, he's all types of time. Oh, and we have a drop pass by number 18. Intended for, number 18 for Ricky Beard. Jarvis Bryant, third down. My apologies for number 18, Jarvis Bryant. Southside fans, get on your feet. I think with that turnover, the momentum shifted to Northside. I feel like Northside has taken our momentum away with that turnover. Back, he has all types of time, no pressure. And thrown to number 18, Jarvis Brown, wide open with no coverage at all. And that is a, a touchdown, touchdown by number 18, Jarvis Bryant. For he was untouched. He was just open. And the quarterback, Martavius Love, had all types of time to throw. There was and no pressure in the backfield. And I think we have an injury with number six, Michael Tranzu. We hope to see Michael Tranzu back out there. He's As you can see right here on this replay, Martavius Love has all time. He has all the time in the world to throw. And Jarvis Brown was wide open. There was no one covering him. And you can see with those nice receiver moves, he, he gets the touchdown. He shouldn't have been that wide open. 
No good. The kick is no good. The point is good. Your new score with 234. And oh, it's the good. kick is it's good. good. Seven, six. South side, six. We have north the north side, side Indian, seven. We have north side Indian, seven, and a south side Hawk, six. And Northside has gained all the momentum. I feel like they've took the momentum away from us with that turnover. And I'm saying Jarvis Bryan shouldn't have been that wide open. Hopefully the Hawks can, you know, get more energy and get back into this game. Back to receive for the Hawks. We have number 20, Hayden Phillips and Caden Edwards in the back. Kickoff number 12, Angelo Heary. And it was got by number 20, Hayden number Phillips. Hayden Phillips. Oh, a nice block, Hayden. nice block. Nice block. That was a nice run. Hayden. Hayden Phillips on the return for south side. I'm here with south side senior Jenny Wood. Number 28 on the tackle, Randall Boynton. Great. Southside, first what are your favorite mem memories of the past line. years that you've been cheerleading? Um, my favorite memories are just cheering with my girls, being on the being on the sidelines, just cheering my team on. And if anybody wants to be a cheerleader, I highly recommend it because it is so fun. Do you feel like you're a role model to the younger girls, and why? Um, I do feel like I'm a role model. It's it's my job as a senior to um, help them learn stuff more quickly and just be. Own, just be the best cheerleader that they can be. All right, thank you, Jenny. Thank you. And that was Hawk TV reporter Skylar Thomas. Loss of three on the we just play. had a sack. We had a sack. We were sacked for a loss of three. Second down. You can see we were sacked by a loss. They got into the backfield. And we have a drop pass. Pass is intended for number 12. And the pass was intended for number 12, draw Curry's Thorpe. Third down. Right. And it's third down. Kevin said that the Cavs kind of lose some of the chapter. I'll come to I'll check. Can we get an injury? It is third down, and we're hoping for a big game. Let's see what Southside is going to run here on third down. Oh, quarterback keep. Oh, and he was tackled by number five. Tackled by number five, Colin Williams. Wilson. Back to punt so it's for the fourth Hawks down. Tonight, Austin Burney. So back, back to punt for the for back to punt for the Hawks. Number Austin Burney. We have number nine in the back to Coley receive Curry. Coley Curry. He is a senior for Southside. Both are seniors. I think Southside is slacking right now. Yes, I, I feel after that after that turnover, to all that momentum went right to Northside. I think we gave them what they was looking for. They were they looking for a big energy. stop, and they had it. They just need more energy. More energy. Then I think they'll have a fairly that better game. That was a game. nice punt by, it was a fair catch. Called fair by number nine, Cody Balls Curry. down by number 54, Mason Taylor. And the ball's down by number 54, Mason Taylor. At the 40-yard line, first and 10, north side. We have first and 10, north side at the 40-yard line. Like I said, the momentum has shifted to north side. If we can get a big stop here before – before second quarter, all right, we need to get into the backfield. As my keys, we need, as my keys to the game, we were, we need to cause turnovers, and we haven't caused any turnovers.
we need to cause turnovers. We need to get into the backfield and get a couple sacks on the quarterback. We need we all the by energy 18, back. We need the energy back. back. Oh, sack. and we have a sack, sack. by number three. <laughs> Sack by number three, Aaron Warren. That's what I was talking about. We need to get into the backfield and put a little pressure on the quarterback. We need to put a little pressure on the quarterback. And assisting on that sack was number 63, Dylan Toll. Northside is really not known for throwing the ball. Yes, but this time I'm glad we got into We were able to get into the backfield and cause a little havoc. That's what I need. That's what we need. We need good stops. That's what we're looking for, stops. In the back. Oh, he has all... He has time to throw. Oh, we have motion, and he's set by number three. Sack. And assisted on that play, number 39. Number Aaron Warren. Aaron Warren. Aaron Warren. Sack by and Aaron Warren, assisted on that play. And that's the end of well, the Hunter first Ross. quarter. And that's we the, the end, end of the first, first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. And I think this year, Southside Hawks have gained a mo kind of momentum back, and it will be third down. I feel like we gained the momentum back with these. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Did you know when texting while driving, you are 23 more times likely to be involved in an auto accident than a non-texting driver? Five seconds the amount of time your attention is taken away from the road when texting. So remember, stop the text, stop the wrecks. Welcome back to Hawk TV Sports. Southside Hawks before the end of the first quarter got three sacks. They got into the backfield and caused havoc just like we needed. Third down. I think they, they fairly got the momentum back this that the last play in the uh, yes, I feel like we gave him momentum back. If they if Aaron can keep getting sacks, then yes, we'll be good right he now. He has all time in the pocket throw. And he throws and he oh and a drop it. pass by number eighteen, draws four. And putting the pressure on him was number fifty four, Mason Taylor. As I said, he's the south side leading tackler with sixteen Mason, tackles. Mason is a big player this year. Yes, I think he's a Back big caller for the box. defense, him and Jack number Brown. Six. But Jack Michael Brown Trenzo. is not at their own defense. I think we, he has an injury. Number 15, Kadrian Edwards. We'll try to get more. We'll try to get you more info. Back to punt for Northside, number 90. And Receiving back to right now is Kadrian Edwards and Michael Tranzu. We have number 90 in the back to punt. Number 90. DJ Gunn. DJ Gunn. And oh. We had a fumble catch by number 15, Caden Edwards. He was tackled down by number Number 15, five, Caden Edwards on Mark. the fair catch. Balls placed the 42-yard line. You see Kate. Mason Taylor, he's the, he's the team leading tackle with 16 tackles, three sacks, and five tackles for a loss. So, as I said, he's, he's the guy you look for on defense to get you your stops. I think Cajun's head is kind of out the game right now. But I'm looking forward to see what the rest of the game holds for him. Yes, I'm looking to see what Southside's going to do here on first and ten. I think we need to get some first downs. We consistently get first downs. I think we have a pretty good. I mean, it's carried by.